hello students uh, how are you all hope you are doing good okay so in my last video i have discussed uh, we have discussed about unit 3 the systems of of irrigation right and what we have learned that there are two systems of irrigation lift and the other is flow so in my last video i have already discussed what was lift irrigation so today i'll mainly discuss about the flow irrigation system flow irrigation system okay so in my last video i have told you about the definition of flow irrigation i'm repeating it, it again so uh, the irrigation the flow irrigation is that type of irrigation in which the flow of water i mean which takes place from any source to the crop fill it flows under the component of gravity okay so that is the flow irrigation so i'm writing the definition when water <coughs> flows under gravitational pull through artificial canal towards the towards the agricultural land okay and then it is said to be a flow irrigation okay so uh, lift was what lift irrigation was when water was lifted by any mechanical or by man uh, man or animal power that was lift but here what is flow when water flows under gravitational pull okay so what uh, what is meant by that when water flows under gravitational pull that means what happens the head of the canal should always be at a higher elevation or not than the land to be irrigated right then only it will flow under gravity right so that uh, this is a major point what is the point here in this type of irrigation <coughs> the head of the the head of the canal should always be at higher elevation higher elevation than the land to be irrigated okay <clears throat> so understood now what is meant by what is the definition of flow irrigation so here there are two types of flow irrigation flow irrigation are of two types number one inundation inundation or flood irrigation system okay number two is perennial perennial you all know what is perennial that means which flows throughout the year right that is perennial <clears throat> so under the perennial again there are two uh, sub systems of irrigation one is direct irrigation system and number b is storage irrigation system <clears throat> so we'll now come to this first one number one inundation irrigation system so what happens here <coughs> here the water flows to the agricultural land in rainy season only okay main point is rainy season only for inundation so here there is in this type of uh, system of irrigation in inundation or flood irrigation what happens there is no regulator 
okay that means there is no any regulator regulator means what which uh, the 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 devices which control the flow of water right so here there is no regulator at the head of the can at the head of the canal which controls the flow of water okay so main thing about inundation is what number one first point i told you water flows in rainy season number two point no head regulator or no regu regulator at the canal or no regulator at the head of the canal okay here uh, regulators are not used to control so what happens here the bed level of the canal okay in the bed level of the canal is fixed at such a level that the water can flow through the canal only when the water level of the uh, river rises above the canal bed understood so I'm, i'll just give a small uh, drawing if to understand to make it easier for you <clears throat> suppose uh, this is the river okay this is the HFL okay so here will be the canal canal so this means what <clears throat> here the bed here the bed level of the canal bed level of the canal it can flow it is fixed at such a level that the water can flow through the canal only when the water level of the river rises when the water level of the river rises it can automatically flow or not right so this is inundation of flood uh, flood irrigation system okay this inundation is also known as a flood irrigation system so that means this system of irrigation it completely depends on the water level of the river or not right so as there is no head regulator as there is no regulator at the head of the canal here over irrigation is possible that is a disadvantage you can say over irrigation is possible in inundation or flood irrigation system since why because there is no regulator to control to control at the head of the canal okay so what happens when there is over irrigation that will if there is over irrigation of course that will damage the crops over irrigation leads to damaging the crops okay so clear what is now uh, flood and inundation uh, irrigation system okay now we'll come to the second uh, system that is the number two is perennial i told you perennial means what throughout the year perennial is throughout the year okay so here what happens <clears throat> you all know what is a wire and a barrage right so here this regulates this structures the wires or barrage they are constructed to uh, to regulate the uh, water level or not right so here a wire or barrage is constructed across any perennial river any perennial river means what that is a river which flows throughout the year in full capacity okay so here a we wire or a barrage is constructed across the perennial river perennial river to raise the water level on the upstream side or a dam is constructed or a dam is constructed to form a storage reservoir okay that means here in this perennial system the hydraulic structures have been constructed 
okay in order to raise the water level on the upstream side okay and the structures are what wire barrage or you can say a dam can be also constructed so this perennial uh, this perennial system of irrigation is very reliable as the water is available throughout the year okay that was all about the perennial again this perennial is divided into two types i have told you before one is direct irrigation and another is what <clears throat> storage irrigation system okay i'm writing in short forms hope you'll understand so here in direct irrigation system wire or a barrage is constructed okay to raise the water level on the upstream side so that the water can flow through the canal this happens in case of direct irrigation okay and the hydraulic structure which is constructed in direct uh, irrigation system is known as diversion head work i guess you have heard about it right so that happens in the direct irrigation system and what happens in storage irrigation system here a dam is constructed okay a dam is constructed across the river valley to form a storage reservoir okay and the flow of water here in this uh, storage reservoir is controlled by the head regulator okay so this storage reservoir uh, is also known as a multipurpose reservoir because it serves many purposes like uh, you can say irrigation then you can say uh, water supply water supply also also a major uh, purpose it serves that is a hydro electric power generation right so this is all about the direct and storage irrigation system which is under the perennial irrigation system okay uh, so this was all about the uh, two systems of irrigation uh, last class last in the last video i have uh, discussed about the lift irrigation and today i have discussed about the flow irrigation i guess the systems of irrigation topic is clear to you all if any doubt kindly contact me as i told you you can contact me between 8 to 3 pm okay thank you hope you all understood this video thank you